so we got a new tank guys If you are new to the channel guys, then this is what it's all about. I go on many adventures, oh yeah. Solo wild camps, collaboration camps, I enjoy woodland camps with awesome food. You just can't beat a good campfire, oh yeah. I review awesome camping gear, I go on van life adventures, and I'm sure you'll see me hit the road really soon so it's time to hit the mountains again for more future wild camps oh yeah right then guys purchase a new tent so I thought I'd bring it out with me today to uh, test it out you know what they say, test the tent out before you take it out. So yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with me today and uh, check this tent out. I had an awesome deal guys on eBay. Uh, I won this tent for a really low price and I was just shocked for the price I had it for. The quality on this looks insane. It's called the Marmot Helder 2, two man tent. It looks awesome, really excited about this one. It's a bit windy up here today, uh, probably about 20 mile an hour winds. I'm trying my best be here to try and get the wind out of the mic, but yeah, uh, awesome location. I always come up here to test my tents out. So yeah, let's get a tent up guys. Pretty excited about this one. This wind guys, definitely be a bit of a test for the tent. See what it's like. I forgot to mention that the tent has been discontinued, so you can't really purchase this tent brand new so if you can find this tent for second hand then I guess it'd be a bargain I've taken this tent out of the original bag guys uh, I put it in the compression sack so I can cinch this down nice and tight <sighs> to make it much smaller in the pack it's very rare I keep tents in the original bag so I usually go for the compression sacks. Here's the poles, guys. These are dark quality poles. This tent comes with a lot of pegs. So I guess these are like uh, aluminium. Lightweight. Yeah, 20 pegs, guys. Uh, yeah, it's a lot of pegs. I weighed these and they came in at 350 grams, so not too bad for 20 pegs. First, guys. Once again, guys. I'm really sorry about the wind noise. It is proper blowing up here today. It was a beautiful day. Cloudy and cloud in the sky. But the wind, man, the wind. Why not so far? It's a, a bend. Is that damage? Was that the actual shape of it? We soon find out. The shape of that. <laughs> Good practice as well guys, doing this in the wind. 
don't know if I recommend it for the first time though. the guy lines out quick as we can guys stop the poles from bending Play guys, wind is horrendous. Definitely not easy putting these tents up in the wind, let me tell you. The tent actually goes up nice and easy, but not on the wind. But yeah, going up now best I can for now in the wind. Like I said, this is just a rebound, so I'm not going to get it all perfect. But all the guy lines are in. This is a vent at the front here, guys. You can open and close that. One on the other side. On this side. And one on the other side. You can tension the fly up. The wind is sort of slamming in at an angle beer. So you can see the, the side is pushing in slightly. Look at that, that is massive. Well guys, sorry about the wind, it's pretty windy out there and the audio is probably just going to be terrible so I'm going to add as much music as I can as possible just to get rid of that awful wind noise but first thoughts coming inside the vestibule, massive it is huge inside here I'm sat on a sit mat and my head is not touching the top, so that's great. Uh, there's one thing I noticed as well, not sure if you can see that guys. It's looking a bit flaky, so I'm guessing that's something to do with the seam seal. You can unzip the first section. The vestibule and zip this side as well. 
and you can bring this in so it becomes uh, a smaller vegetable so the inner tent would meet beer and that would be the vegetable over there so this is a section I can take out if I wanted so it's great knowing I can do that but the reason I bought this tent is because I like the idea of having a massive vestibule well, I paid £55 for this tent guys and I can't expect that thing to be perfect for that price but for that money I'm pretty happy Plenty of room there guys, between the inner and the, and the outer and where the wind is coming from the side you can see it's pushing it in by there to the inner so that's my fault I should have turned it a bit more nice size pullers so if you're wearing gloves nice and easy to open You know, needs tightening up here in the corners. Ah, it's more taut now. That. It's one big vegetable, man. The weight of this tent with the poles weighs three kilo, 100 grams, and the pegs on their own, they weigh 350 grams. And the reason they're so heavy is because this tent takes 20 pegs. So, if you want to make a vegetable smaller, then obviously you can bring a weight down on the tent. I'll probably bring it down to about two eight, if less. It's got a pocket beer, the front on the one side, another pocket beer, the only small pockets, and just noticing there's another pocket up here, but I guess in, that's not a very good pocket because stuff will just probably fall out of that. So I'm not too sure what the reason is that one you got your vents in the back this is all solid in there you can see how close this is to the floor so this is a four season tent and that's what sold me on this tent really guys it's because it's four season 55 pounds I paid for this tent. Four season Marmot. That's a uh, American brand. I, I think it's American brand, and I know they make some uh, top products as well. In the back, you've got a, a huge pocket beer, and on the other side, another big pocket. I guess in the back, you know, and he's tightening up. You can actually tension these up, so. Hopefully this tent won't leak. Fingers crossed. I leave the specs up now on the screen guys for the tent. I've had a good look around the tent guys and I can't see any damage right now. Fingers crossed. It's going to be fine when you take it out. Buying second hand tents, you do worry that you're going to find some sort of damage, but uh, you can tell it's not brand new, but it's not too bad either. So, it could be worse. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.
There's no escape from my winds there. It's called the uh, Marmot. It's called the. Uh, it's called the Marmot. Hala. Fucking hell. <laughs>